Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, when you were a child, did you ever play follow the leader? Uh, if you played the game, did you want to be the leader or did you want to follow? And, and if you were following somebody else, did you want them to lead you easy places or really challenging places? See, if I wasn't going to be the leader, uh, if I was following someone, I wanted them to set a hard course to follow. If I was the leader, I wanted to set a hard course to follow. I wanted to make it challenging. Uh, see, I think the game Follow the Leader is a wonderful discipleship tool because the Apostle Peter in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 21 says, For to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example so that you might follow in his steps. Did you catch that? If you're a follower of Jesus then you are called to follow in the steps of Jesus. So how do we do that? How do we follow him? Well, by taking his steps. What are his steps? Well, deny yourself. Take up your cross. Follow me, Jesus said. Embrace that cross. Suffer for doing what is right instead of doing what's evil. Love and pray for your enemies. Forgive everyone. Bless those who persecute you and curse you. Serve people. See, this is the path Jesus walked. This is the example that he set. The, these are the steps that he blazed the trail with that we are to follow. So this is the course Jesus is leading me and you on if we're followers of Christ. Think about that, if we're followers of Christ. So let me ask you uh, really a, a difficult question. Are you following Jesus in his steps or are you trying to blaze your own trail? Are you following Jesus in his steps? Or are you trying to be the leader of your journey? You see, if we want to be successful as followers of Jesus, then we really need to embrace the course that Jesus has set. And we need to follow in his steps because there is only one leader of our lives. And for those of us who claim Jesus as Lord, that's Jesus himself. So you're either following in the steps of Jesus or we're failing. So today I'm praying for you that you would follow in his steps. I hope that helps and I pray that God blesses you. Have a great day.